Hey guys, today I'm going to cook some boneless, skinless chicken thighs on my little Weber cube. I have a tray of boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I think this was about three, three and a half pounds. So last night all I did was rinse them off, trim off some of the excess fat, and then just put them in that bowl with some of this roasted red pepper Italian dressing. I haven't actually tried this one as a marinade, but red pepper and chicken goes well together. I've used Italian dressing for a marinade with chicken many times. So just been uh, marinating those overnight. You can go less if you want, three or four hours maybe. Um, then I'll probably just sprinkle on a little salt and Johnny's seasoned pepper while they're cooking. So uh, let's go get that little gas grill lit. I've had this little gas grill for a few months now and I really like this thing. So easy to use. Just turn on the gas, hit the igniter, and then we'll close the lid and let those cast iron grates heat up for a few minutes. Well, the grill's heating up. Let me show you my side dish in the Instant Pot here. That is two cups of rice, two cups of water, and I threw in some frozen mixed vegetables and I just cooked that on the rice setting. Looks like it came out pretty good. I'm starting to see some smoke so I think my grill is hot here. I already brushed the grates off with a wire grill brush so um, just get our chicken on there. Oh you know what? It seems kind of hot. I better turn this down to low here. That's probably better. I don't think it really matters which side I start the chicken on because I'll probably turn it over several times while it's cooking anyway. So um, hopefully I can hopefully I can fit this all on there. Now that you can hear me over that motorcycle, hopefully. <laughs> all right, I'll just try to squeeze it on and. Uh, like I said, I'm going to have to shuffle it around a little bit while it's cooking. Um, just hit that with a little bit of kosher salt now. And then uh, a little bit of this Johnny's seasoned pepper. And then we'll uh, get the lid down and let it cook for a few minutes. It's been about six or seven minutes. I'm hoping these aren't burning or sticking or anything here. Hey, that looks pretty good. Might be sticking a little bit. No, maybe not too bad. Wow, color looks pretty good there. That one has no color. Not as hot right there. They kind of stick a little bit, but not not really too bad. That one, a little piece of meat came off. That one, a little bit. Some of them are uh, have more grill marks than others, but that's why I said I'll probably kind of keep turning them a few times until they look cooked through. So uh, I'll just finish this up and we'll be back in a little bit. They've been on that side for about four or five minutes. Wow, these look pretty good already. So I think these smaller ones are already done. The thicker ones I might have to leave on for just a few more minutes, but these cooked fast. Like, what have they been on there? 12 minutes maybe, something like that. But these smaller ones cook pretty quickly. Dark meat chicken, chicken thighs like this, you don't have to worry about them drying out much anyway. They're one of the easiest things there is to cook. Chicken breasts, on the other hand, are a little trickier. If you leave those on too long, they tend to dry out, but chicken thighs, not so much. Well, these look like they turned out pretty good. Let's grab one right here in the front. That one has some pretty nice grill marks on it. Some do more than others. Looks pretty juicy, though. Anyway, let's try it out. Man, that's really good. Chicken and Italian dressing is a great combo. That roasted red pepper dressing, it works really well with that. That's really good. And those are super easy to make as well. Annie, the taste test dog, showed up. She's like, let me try that chicken, Dad. Come on, come on. <laughs> Yeah, 
That chicken turned out really good and it cooked in 10 or 15 minutes. That little Weber Q grill is just so easy to cook on. I really like it. <laughs> Thanks for watching you guys. Talk to you next time. Mm -hmm.